Hey Stingray and anybody else that's watching. So this will be my first serious video. This is called the Persley Pep Talks. I'm taking this from my dad's ebook that he published a couple years ago. There's a link in the description if you want to get the entire series. But he wrote a series of pep talks just about things that are relevant to swimmers and coaches and um, just things to keep everybody on track. So I'm going to go through those one by one now on Sundays and uh, I hope everybody gets a chance to listen in. Uh, the first one is called the positive choice. Every successful coach understands the importance of creating a positive training environment. Our thoughts, choices, and decisions will be influenced by the environment around us. A commitment to excellence is extremely difficult to sustain even under the best of circumstances. It becomes almost impossible to sustain if we are surrounded by negative influences or by those who promote self-indulgence or mediocrity. As much as we are able, we should immerse ourselves in an environment that is conducive to the pursuit of excellence. This means that we should choose our friends from among those who are striving to be the best they can be and who are willing to make the necessary commitment to achieve that goal. It means that the books we read and our entertainment choices should be inspiring and challenging. Most importantly, we should challenge ourselves to keep it positive in all our thoughts, words, and actions. The closer we come to achieving this objective, the more likely we will be able to achieve performance excellence. Um, number one just happens to be perfect for this time. Uh, what we're going through, it requires a positive attitude and it requires filling your time with positive things. Um, at this time, I'm, I'm going to challenge Stingray to get on social media on the Facebook page because that is a way to surround ourselves with a positive environment and post things about what you're doing to stay in shape, what you're doing to keep up with anything swimming related, what you're doing that's positive throughout your day. Um, if we take to the workout videos, yes, they're comedy, but they are serious. If you're doing the workouts, let the rest of the team know. Um, and then maybe someone else will be inspired. They'll see your workout video and say, oh, you know what, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna exercise too. Um, the biggest thing though that we can take from this since this is new territory for almost everyone, is basically self-reflection. Take the time each day to reflect on your day before you go to bed and maybe write down the hours you spent with a negative influence versus a positive influence. It'll be really easy right now to sit back and play video games all day and make unhealthy choices and diet, especially since the grocery stores aren't open so it's easy to go make go buy all the stuff that's non-perishable, all the stuff that isn't healthy for us to eat on a regular basis. Um, some suggestions maybe for diet would be get frozen veggies, get frozen fruits, and uh, there's an entire freezer section in the grocery store of fruits and vegetables that still maintain nutrients that you can still get a huge benefit from even though they're not fresh. And then that way you don't need to go to the store every day to get fresh foods. But don't resort to the cheap, easy, um, freezer burritos or pizza pockets or pizza bagels every day because you'll come out of this much worse than what you went into it. Um, if we do this, if we make those positive choices, if we all commit to it, then there's no doubt that we can come away from however long it is in a better position than when we started. Um, I would like, I'd like everyone to, you know, start tracking their time and, and think about those positive versus negative. Think about, you know, what video games did you play today? Did you spend three hours playing Call of Duty, killing people in video games? And if you did, would you consider those three hours a positive part of your day? Or would you consider them a negative? Did you read a book today? That was probably a positive part of your day. Did you exercise? Or did you watch some junk on Netflix or TV that had no inherent value? Was that a negative influence on your day? And obviously, we're all going to have a lot of negative hours. We're all going to have things we do that are just a waste of time at this time, but try to limit it and try to keep track of it. How many hours did you spend scrolling through Facebook posts about nonsense? How many hours did you scroll through Instagram about nonsense? Keep track of that stuff because this time of, it, when we're locked up especially, it's going to be hard to avoid that stuff, but do the best you can. Keep track of it and get better every day.